Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take large sessions with big track counts and make them a lot more manageable. Okay, I'm gonna use a song I recently worked on as an example. So here is the chorus, final chorus of the song. It's not too big, but I'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So here's what that chorus sounds like. What if it's all in my head And I'm not falling over the edge Would you catch me? Okay, so pretty full, but I Joe Gildered it and added a bunch of background vocals. So um, as you can see here, I've got like... Uh, I think it's around 18 tracks of just background vocals. That's a lot. And if you were to mix something like this, or if you were to just receive a session from anywhere that had huge numbers of tracks, it might begin to initially overwhelm you. I want to show you a couple of tools that Studio One offers that can make this a lot easier on your brain. Because while this looks like, oh my goodness, i got to mix 18 different vocals, it's really just one background vocal part. Or it's actually kind of two or three, but it's not 18, and that will set your mind and your mixing session at ease. So let's uh, let's listen to them. These are just the raw tracks real quick to get an idea of what's all here. What if it's all in my head? <laughs> So if you were to dive into this a little bit more closely, you would see there's essentially three parts to this background vocal. I just held up all my fingers to say three. Three, par three parts. Uh, the first is here. These first eight or so tracks represent just kind of a basic ah part. So it's really just a four-part thing recorded twice with each part panned left and right. Real pretty simple. The second part is these six tracks here, and they're doing this kind of between phrases of the other vocal. Da -da, da -da, da -da -da. And then there's a final, a little pitchy there, there's a final one here that's doing this. It's all in my head. The song's called All In My Head, which that's why that makes sense. So really, it's just three sections. So how do we handle this in a way that takes it from 18 to 3? We're doing math now. First thing we're going to do is select the first group, and I'm going to right-click on one of these selected tracks. The way I selected it is I clicked the first one, I held down Shift, and clicked the last one. That selects these particular tracks. Then I just right-click, and I look for a pack folder setting. I've got a keyboard shortcut, so I'm normally not coming into here, but it's right there. Pack folder I use, I set up command or what is that? Alt left arrow or option left arrow to do that. But it's going to take these tracks and pack them into a folder. I've done um, I've done videos on folders before, but this is a little bit of a different take I want to make sure you're aware of. Okay, so that first section is here. We'll call these the ahs, okay? So they've been packed here. So now they're in this kind of cute little purple folder, okay? Or pink folder. Next, let's take the next ones and do the same. It's, uh, it's these right here. So now I'm going to use the shortcut, option left. That packed those into a folder. We'll call those the da-das. And then the, because they were going da-da. And then this one. It's okay, this is the one that sings It's All In My Head. I want to pack those together as well. And you'll understand why in just a second. So we'll, we'll call just this in my head, okay? So now I've got these three separate vocals that we can actually just see packed into a folder like this without having to expand them, we can see what's there. The way I like to approach so much of my mixing with regard to background vocals, but really any group of tracks, is can I just mix it as a whole? So instead of EQing each one of these 18 or so vocal tracks, can I just put an EQ across the whole thing? Or in this instance, can I just EQ the ahs independently of the da da's independently of the in my heads? And the answer is yes. But actually, we can go a step further. We can take each of these and pack them inside their own folder too. I'm going to do that in just a second. But first, right now we just have folders. So we can kind of visually organize things, but there's nothing really happening to the audio. What I can do next is I can click on this little drop-down menu for each folder, and I can say, add a bus channel. And what it does is it takes this folder and whatever it's called, this was called Oz, and it creates a bus 
for all of those. So sometimes you want folders just to visually organize things. You don't need a bus connected to it. I almost always have buses connected. And it looks like this. Here is my ah uh, bus, and then inside that bus are all the tracks that I put in there. We can do the same thing for, uh, let's close this again. Here's the folder for the dadas. We can do the drop down, add a bus channel, and the in my heads, we can say add a bus channel. And it creates a bus for each of these. So now I can have a bus over here that I can adjust faders up and down. I can also just adjust this and that's the fader for that particular bus. Now I'm going to do you one even better. We're going to take all of these folders and pack them into a folder. We are packing folders inside folders, which is no big deal when you're working with files on your computer, right? You have a folder for documents and then a folder for this particular client and then a folder for this particular project and it's folders inside of folders. We don't freak out about that. Don't freak out about this. It's the same idea, only it's cooler because it's music and not documents about clients. So this track, this is going to be just my BGV bus, my overall background vocal bus. So I call it BGV, background vocals, and I do the same thing here. I say add a bus channel. So check it out. I have now taken all of those background vocals that we were just talking about. They're all packed into this folder. But not only that, they're packed, hang on, let me move that bus. They're packed into folders inside of folders. So I can unpack that folder. Now I can see my ahs, my da da, my in my head, and then I can take these and unpack them as well. So unpack that, unpack this, unpack this. You see what, why that becomes really interesting? So now I have a single fader and folder for all of my ah tracks. So I could do something like, you know what, let's, uh, Oops, I hit the wrong button. Let's EQ that and throw it to some reverb. So I'm gonna, on this overall background vocal bus, I'm gonna do this number. I'm gonna say, roll off some of the lows, pull out some of the mins, a little boost at 8K, and let's, you can tell I've done this a few times. Let's send this to my big plate reverb. And just like that, all my background vocals are like this. But if I decide that, you know what, the it's all in my head is getting buried, the da-da's are too loud, I have kind of sub-folders for those. So I can say, okay, in my head needs to turn up, da-da's need to turn down. And I could even say, you know what, actually, I don't want reverb on everything. I want to put the plate reverb on just the ahs and just the in my head, but I don't want it on the da-da parts. So if I solo da-da, you'll hear... Those stay nice and dry, but if we listen to the entire mix of background vocals, when we just solo our entire background vocal bus, we can hear everything. And so we've taken, remember how this video began? There were a whole bunch of background vocal tracks and it seemed obnoxious and annoying, this is really it. It's just three. It's the ahs, the dadas, and the in my heads. We can feed those into their own bus and process them all together. It is not as big of a deal as maybe we thought it was. And now we can add all of those back into this main mix and have it just be this nice thickening thing that happens on this chorus. Here we go. What if it's all Hope that wasn't too complicated. I wanted to show you that folders are valuable, but then folders within folders. I used this literally on a mixing session recently and thought, ah, I gotta tell folks on the Personas YouTube channel about this because it's a really useful tool. Not only does it combine visual organization, which can be really helpful to keep us from being stressed out, it can also let us do buses within buses and have it all be nice and organized. I can't tell you, it's not, having an organized session really takes a load off of your mind. So you're not having to go and search for things all the time. You know where everything is. You can visually find everything, but you can also hide things you don't need to see. I don't need to see all 18 of those background vocal tracks. I really just need to see the three main faders that I created. And that makes my life a whole lot easier when it comes to mixing. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please push the red button now and make it so. See you in the next one.